What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome to Class Course, where we take a brief look at a specific class specialization from World of Warcraft and break down their core rotation. So if you're a beginner, or you're simply not familiar with how to play a particular class, then you've come to the right place. Today we're going to be talking about Havoc Demon Hunters, and for Havoc Demon Hunters, it's all about generating and spending fury. When you start off, you'll be using Demon's Bite to generate fury. However, early on in your talent tree, you'll have the option to choose Demon Blades. With this, you'll no longer be able to use Demon Blades. Instead, you'll be dealing more damage and generating fury passively with your auto attacks. This is a great option because it gives you one less thing to worry about and you'll be generating a lot of fury passively. On top of that, there are a few other abilities in your talent tree that will help you generate even more fury. If you have them, you can use Immolation Aura, Fellblade, and Sigil of Flame on cooldown to generate extra fury. Now you want to make sure that you're not wasting your fury by overcapping it. To do that, you're going to have to start spending it. You have a few abilities that spend fury, and the most important one is I-Beam. This one has the longest cooldown, but it deals significant damage to enemies standing in front of you. Next up is Blade Dance. It doesn't deal as much damage as I-Beam, but it also has a much shorter cooldown, and it will deal damage to all enemies that are near you. Last up is Chaos Strike, and unlike the other two abilities, this one doesn't have a cooldown. So spend your fury on Chaos Strike when everything else is on cooldown. The last two abilities that I want to mention are Fell Rush and Throw Glaive. Neither of these abilities will generate fury or spend it but they will deal damage and they're there for you when you have nothing else to do. Now, Demon Hunters have one of the coolest DPS cooldowns in the game, Metamorphosis. You can use this to jump to the area that you target and deal damage to enemies nearby. When you land, you'll turn into a hulking demon. For the duration that you are in demon form, Blade Dance and Chaos Strike will be empowered, dealing more damage, and your haste will be increased so you want to use Metamorphosis whenever it's available. Now while we've already gone over some, there are still a number of other abilities tucked away in your talent tree. But with this being a beginner's guide, I want to keep it simple. So for now, we're going to stop things here. Hopefully, this video will help get you started. But keep in mind that in Dragonflight, your talent tree build will have the most significant impact on your rotation. You have a lot of options, but the most important thing to consider is the type of content you want to participate in. This will have the most significant impact on the direction you should take with your build. So if you'd like to learn even more about your class, then I highly recommend that you check out the class discords, and I will provide a link to them in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button and feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook, and if you'd like, you can support my work on Patreon. Links to all that stuff can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.